whether it's a college quarterback going to the NFL or just an NFL quarterback in general, first thing you're looking for when you're looking at a quarterback in, in the entire evaluation process. Yeah. YouTube family, appreciate you for tapping in with me again. Got another little project to bring to you guys. Zach Robinson, got a few comments about Zach looking for some sort of breakdown. Now, what I didn't want to do was show you a whole bunch of Los Angeles Rams clips and say, here is Zach. I think that'll be a little misleading because a lot of that is still Sean McVay's baby. And he was the in-game play caller. Now, with Zach, what I wanted to do is go back to his PFF days when there was less coach speak and he was able to speak more openly about what he likes and what he doesn't like. Now, that is very important going into this offseason free agency and NFL draft process. Now, that's why I was able to put this video together. And if you're rocking with me, let's go ahead and roll with it. Yeah. First thing you got to look for is just the overall arm. We, we look at the arm talent and the accuracy. The ability to pace the ball up and over defenders while still maintaining velocity. Now, now he's talking about layering throws. Zach, I think I got the perfect guy for you. Meet Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels has been flying up draft boards as we speak. He's getting QB2 and even QB1 talk. Now, that's crazy, but... Not so crazy when you're looking at the tape because it's undeniable what he did this past season. Look at this play here. We're talking about layering throws over the linebacker with a guy barreling down on you. We saw Jaden Daniels getting crushed multiple times this season. It went viral a couple of times. And he's getting crushed on this play here. And you can't put a ball in a better place in this. It looks like it's going to 11, but... Look what 11 is going to do. Oh, no shot. Perfect ball location. Look at that. Come on, man. Dime. Next play here. Cleaner pocket. Being able to layer the throw. Already sees his spot. Throws to his spot. Nothing but a dot. What else you got for me, Zach? Uh, short area touch, deep ball touch. That can all go into the arm talent uh, bucket. Okay, you need to see some deep ball touch to complete the arm talent bucket. I think I got the right guy for you, Zach. This past season, 2023 Heisman Trophy winner on his deep balls, throws of over 20 yards, 35 for 55, 63%, 1,300 47 yards, 22 touchdowns, zero interception, and a 99.2 PFF passing grade. I know you like that last stat, Zach. Now, this play here, we're going to see the slot fade right here at the top. And just, you can walk it to him better than this. You, you cannot walk a ball better than this. Short hitch lets me know he doesn't need all of that power to get that ball out. He can do it with his arm, guys. This is nothing but a flick of the wrist, and you couldn't walk it out there better. Next play here, we're going to watch eight get busy down here. Eight was getting busy all year, but this is not about eight. This is about Jaden Daniels. Down at the bottom, it's nothing more purrier than watching a gator get cooked. Look at that, man. You, you can't walk a ball out there better than he did on this play here. Short hitch, just an arm talent. Boom. Right outside the numbers after the stack, he couldn't walk it out there better. What else you got for me, Zach? Yeah, the next thing you kind of look at is, um, is, is processing, how they mentally process. Looking at pre-snap processing, post-snap processing, uh, a lot of guys have the ability to, to know where they're going with the football before the snap based on the coverage look. Um, and then you also have your good post-snap processors uh, that, can, that can work through multiple reads smoothly. Working through multiple reads smoothly. I think we're catching on to a theme here. I got this guy named Jaden Daniels here. Now, watch him work through multiple reads. Turn down, no, no, backside, bow. In stride. Here we go again. 
No, no, settle in the pocket, throw the dig. Here we go again. Crossers, turn those down, hit the open spot. This is crazy, man. This is my guy. I hope we have a chance to get Jaden Daniels. I see the Justin Fields thing popping off today, but if we go quarterback in the draft, can we get this guy? Here we go yet again. Turn down Malik Neighbors, not there, hit the drag. Bow. One thing that I that always catches my eye next is uh, is pocket feel and, and poise and kind of the ability to extend the play. The, the biggest thing I think right. that you can take away from all that is uh, finding guys down the field, keeping your eyes up, and, and making big plays. The ability to extend the play, keep your eyes up, find guys down the field for a big play. Jaden Daniels, he does that as well. Now watch 53. Never gets <laughs> – never departs from his stance. He, he's, I'm not sure what he's looking at, but he gets beat off the edge really quick here. And watch five, recognize it, dip, I'm out. Easy. Just watch, the. this is pocket feel. Felt this guy getting beat, was able to keep his eyes up, escape the pocket, eyes up, eyes up, dot. Run away, touchdown. If we can get our hands on this guy, we're going to make those same people you see in this crowd right now sad as hell on Sundays. Those same Louisiana people going to be sad in New Orleans if we get five behind that center. Let's go, man. And you're probably saying, Sean J, all offensive coordinators, one quarterbacks that can throw with pace, have pocket presence, being able to throw short, intermediate, and the deep ball, shouldn't all quarterbacks do that? I say shit to me, it's your boy Sean Jay. I'm out. Just where to go with the football pre-snap. That's your number one asset as a quarterback is how to diagnose and where to go with before the snap. He's got to take some major strides in, in where to go with the football before the snap. And, and we've seen him when he's in rhythm and he knows where to go, he's, he's pretty accurate. Most of his... Uh, bad plays are more decision making, not really accuracy based. So um, he's got a long ways to go in terms of cleaning that stuff up. It's going to come with experience and he's just going to have to study these looks and understand where to go with the football.